Meet Sopot, a tiny Polish town on the Baltic Sea coast where the unemployment rate tends to zero and the main attraction is a crude house. In this video we will see the hotel where Hitler stayed and also take a walk on the largest wooden pier in Europe. Enjoy the video! We are already in Sopot, we arrived here by scam train in just 20 minutes and for only 10 zlotas, from the center of Gdańsk to Sopot. Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose? What do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack Now we are going to explore the city We were lucky with the weather We've just entered the city from the train station, the mall And it's already very cozy I am starting to like it Conveniently, all the sites here are in the center, in one place. You don't have to walk far or go anywhere. And now, firstly, we will go to the very center, to the most important pedestrian street, Monte Cassino. Literally two minutes have passed and here we are at the beginning of our street. It is the pedestrian street of Monte Cassino, this is how it descends to the sea. And here another landmark is the Church of St. George. It's a very beautiful building. To your attention, Mr. Parasolnik or Mr. Umbrella. Now we are in the very center of Sopot, as I said, on Monte Cassino Street. It's also called Monchak. It is a party street, especially comes alive at night. It's full of establishments, pubs, restaurants, but in the daytime there is something to do and see. It is very beautiful here, it is pleasant to walk around. We came in winter, so there are not many people, but in summer there are huge crowds and it is not as atmospheric as it's now. In front of you is a crooked house, which was built in 2004 and since then has become a trademark of Sopot. Just look at its unusual shape. The crooked house is really crooked because there are no flat spots or corners. Its history began 20 years ago at the moment when two Polish architects, Szatynski and Zalewski, were commissioned to build a shopping center. But not a simple one, but one that would attract people's attention and be popular. As you can see, the goal was achieved quite successfully because the house became one of the most photographed buildings in Poland. On the first floor there is a shopping center, on the second floor there are offices of Polish radio stations, and on the third floor there are pubs and clubs. In general the place is unusual and interesting, so it's a scene not to visit it during your stay in Sopot. We wandered into such a small park, the sun is shining, that's why it's so cozy here now. I can imagine how nice it must be to relax here in summer. If you find yourself in Sopot, be sure to walk along the street that go further away from the center. We walked around a few, we loved it, very nice private sector and the town itself is small and by the way one interesting fact is connected with it. In 1973 the population of Sopot exceeded 50,000 inhabitants. There was a law that when the city exceeds such a number of inhabitants, the status of the mayor of the city can change to the status of the president, that is the president of the city. Very unusual law. I wonder why it appeared and uh, where it came from. If you know polls, write in the comments. Okay. 
and now it is time to go up to the local observation deck or rather to the lighthouse which surprised me with one fact but first things first We went up to the lighthouse for rating slotters for two people. Now, unfortunately, there are renovations going on, so the view is not super clean, lots of scaffolding, nevertheless, the views are very nice and the climb doesn't take long. This is the only observation deck in Sobot that we know of and from here you can see not only Sobot, which is very beautiful, but also other cities, for example Gdańsk and Gdynia. Yes, they are far away, but there is a huge horizon opening up here. Now get ready for a very interesting fact. It's not actually a lighthouse, it's a chimney, which was built in the early 19th century but in 1977 was rebuilt as a lighthouse and changed its function. But the fact itself is unusual. When I heard about it, I thought what? <laughs> it uh, certainly looks old inside and I guess they are going this renovation for a reason and it will all be gone soon, so I hope that when you come here, if you do, the lighthouse will already look new. And for climbing the lighthouse, you will get a certificate like this, which confirms that you climbed, you did good. <laughs> it's a very cool feature, it's the first time I've seen something like that. Right next to the lighthouse is the entrance to a pier called Molo, the largest wooden pier in Europe by far, but we'll get to it a little later. But for now, the Grand Hotel. We couldn't pass by without showing you this 5-star hotel, of which there are only three in Sopot. A few facts about it. First, three more years and the hotel will be 100 years old. Second, there are 126 rooms. And third, the price. Well, of course, the price is of interest to everyone. How much does housing here cost now? In January, prices start from 450 slotters per day. In summer, this figure can be safely multiplied by at least two. The view from the hotel, of course, is appropriate. In total, more than 25 famous people from different countries stayed at the Grand Hotel. Presidents, politicians, actors and singers. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, Hitler was here too, in September 1939. The hotel became his headquarters for a week, from where he traveled to the outskirts of Warsaw to oversee the invasion of the city. So, the pier. As I said, this is the largest wooden pier in Europe, its length reaches more than 500 meters. Now we'll walk along it and take a look, but it's already clear that it's very wide, comfortable and there are much more people here than in other places, because this pier is another important attraction of Sopot. We didn't plan to shoot much at all, the pier is just like the pier, but walking around it I took a lot of shots because it's very atmospheric. Live music, people's voices, seagulls, dogs, beautiful sea, landscapes and even the rainbow, which complemented the wall picture perfectly. Created a wonderful impression. The beaches of Sopot are simply delightful. Just look at how many living creatures are here. Seagulls, ducks, swans, pigeons and a dog. <laughs> As you can see, the beaches are very wide, the width is about 100 meters and the length of the beach is 4 kilometers. And this is very cool, I love wide beaches, the sea itself is clean, at least for now, we were convinced of this when we walked along the pier, and there is very gentle entrance to the water, so swimming here is good in summer. But it's important to remember that the air temperature here, in principle in Poland at the sea, reaches 20-25 degrees maximum. It is the summer here is cool, well, who likes it, then of course, well. Welcome. 
seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. Parallel to the beaches is a large North Park. As you can see, it is a beautiful green, clean place where you can rest and support, relax and walk by yourself with a dog, with someone. To summarize, I would like to say that I liked Sopot very much. It is a mega compact city where everything is located close to each other, it has a pleasant climate and I would say that the city is not only cozy but also elegant, because it's immediately clear that it's expensive to live here, especially in the summer. And in winter, as you understand, it is also not boring here, you can walk in the park, on the beach, enjoy nature and the city itself as well. And that's why for one day to come here is perfect at all. I don't know about living here, but it's definitely worth a visit. Do you like Sopot? Share your impressions in the comments and see you soon in the next video. Bye!